Welcome back to another episode. I am your host, Matt Powers, of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. If you guys get a chance, please visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com, or you can also follow me over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. So today's topic is going to be around the Speed Flex Helmet. I'm sure you guys have seen these around. Some of them have been signed. They look similar to the standard Speed Helmets, but they've got kind of that funky little octagon shape on the front of the helmet, and they've got a couple other different features. So let's first off talk about what is the Speed Flex Helmet and how does it differ from the regular Speed well, a couple things. One is that little octagon shape thing that I mentioned on the top there. Uh, the insides of the helmet actually has a little bit different padding. These, of course, are a styled helmet that you are seeing a few NFL players, actually quite a few NFL players, are wearing. Uh, so this is a very popular helmet to get signed for that particular reason. Uh, but those are the, really the main differences there. It's just a little bit different of a shell on top and the insides... The, excuse, the padding on the inside is a little bit different. The third difference is actually probably the most significant thing is the cost of the helmet, okay? A standard authentic speed helmet is, you know, typically around $300 to $350. Uh, you're looking at close to $600 for the authentic speed flex helmet, okay? So big jump up in price. They're almost double the price of your, your speed authentics there. And are these good for autographs? You know, absolutely 100%. You know, the material on the outside is the same as those standard Speed Authentics. You just got to be careful where you get those helmets signed at, okay? I found that the best place to get them signed is typically on the front part of the helmet, on that kind of little octagon shape there. Uh, getting a couple of these done for the Gardner Minshew signing, and the uh, customer is getting it signed in that little kind of octagon shape there. And then the inscription is actually going right above there. So it actually worked out pretty good there. It, it turned out really, really sharp. He's using a nice light blue paint pen on there. And uh, it's going to turn out really, really good. Uh, that's really the main feature difference, though, I think, about getting them signed as opposed to the Speed Authentics. Is they've got that funky little shape on there. So it kind of throws off where to sign. But it doesn't look really all that terrible. I think they actually look pretty sharp there if you get it signed there. So who do you get these helmets signed by, given that their price point is around $600? Well, two people really, okay? One, your absolute favorite player, like this is your main go-to guy. You don't care what anybody else thinks about him. He's your favorite player, okay? If he wears that style of helmet, hey, even better, okay? But, you're, you know, you're seeing guys getting people's, uh, people's autographs on these that don't even wear the style of helmet, so uh, it doesn't really matter if the player doesn't wear it. If you want to get them on a cool official license helmet that's a little bit different than your standard option, that would be up to you. Your second one is to get it. Who do you want to get these things signed by? Are the uh, elite top of the line guys. You know, guys like Patrick Mahomes, um, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, J.J. Watt. Those guys who have a expensive autograph who kind of warrant being put on this super expensive helmet. So... That's who I would put on there. I wouldn't put on just kind of your average guy who's really not your favorite and who's not a star simply because you're probably paying $50 to $100 for the autograph and you're putting on an item that's six times <laughs> worth more than the autograph. So definitely not, uh, not advisable in that particular scenario. But these are really cool helmets. They sign really well. They display well. And if you haven't gotten one yet, I definitely suggest you guys uh, get one in your collection. Again, just make sure that it's, hey, it's your favorite guy or it's, you know, a super top of the line guy just because you're going to be shelling out a big ton of cash for these. And I've got a few speed flexes on the website if you want to check those out at powersportsmemorabilia.com. But if you guys got any questions at all about the speed flex helmet, let me know and I will do my best to answer them for you. And also check out uh, me on Instagram at powersportsmemorabilia.com. Powers Autographs. Thanks again, guys. I will see you on the next episode.